you have to hear out Joe Rogan, all right? So I got a clip here from uh, Mr. Joe Rogan about Elon Musk. Oh, uh, I just I, I found this clip because I heard this this happened. Actually, I actually haven't watched the clip yet, but I hear it's great. So uh, yeah, I heard it's a banger that Glenn Greenwald promoted. And, and David, let's, after this uh, clip, we should we should catch up with our our word document. We're probably we've mm. only done one. Oh yes, yeah. yes, of course, of course. Yeah, Blair, get us. I, I got you. Guys. See how this plays Thank out. You. There's an amazing amount of resistance against him, and you know, there's the, just the publicity campaign against him has been fascinating to watch. People go from thinking that Elon Musk is the savior that's bringing us these amazing electric cars and engineering new reusable rockets to he's an alt right piece of shit who wants Donald Trump back in the office, and it's like it's very wild. It, it, the 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 speed with which they can oh god, oh god there he is <laughs> somebody and hit the rhythm on the club yeah uh, elon's number right. one dick rider like, you know it's, press release agent <laughs> we are spokesperson matt Tyvee. you know whether it's noriega or saddam hussein or milosevic or what? assad what or whatever noriega it is like, we have a playbook <laughs> Cranking out the, negative the subtitles are fucking about... up. It, it respelled Saddam Hussein as, so, uh, as sodomy, and so the subtitles the are wrong. To ignore the subtitles. Wait, I didn't see that. It, it's not talking about sodomy. No, it said sodomy. It did say sodomy, but he's talking about much worse things. Okay, we're talking about Saddam Hussein, not sodomy, which you know can't be. Based. Can we go uh, back just so I can see that? I'm so yeah, sorry. But, like, yeah. With uh, Noriega or sodomy. <laughs> 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 Freudian sub. This is Matt Taibbi here, of course. Uh, Beautiful. Matt Taibbi, left wing journalist. Don't don't say he's right wing. Left wing journalist, Matt Taibbi. All right. Anyways, let's let's continue. Oh, that's what it is. Whether it's Noriega or Saddam Hussein time. or Milosevic or Assad or whatever it is, like we have a playbook for cranking out negative information about. Um, you know, foreigners who get in our way for whatever Foreigners, reason. pause. But uh -huh. now we, we've, uh -huh. de we've kind of uh, refined that technique for domestic people who Stop are fucking. inconvenient, you know? I think yeah. they, they did it with Trump, obviously. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I mean, what? I mean we, 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 we watched this clip. What? I have a lot to address. Yeah. Go, go ahead. No, Ole, go ahead. You, you called pause first, I think. Go ahead. First of all, who is this? Was this is Matt Taibbi. You, you probably you, you probably know him as the Twitter files guy, the main Twitter files guy. Oh, okay. Uh, a, a, right. a, long, a long history right. of, of being an opinion journalist for a lot of different publications. He was living in Russia for a while and made a really edgy kind of like, you know, we're going to joke about, you know, a whole bunch of weird things, sexual assault, stuff like that. And then he kind of got like mildly canceled by NPR. I want to say mildly because it was the mildest, oh. basically. Your old writing was kind of like weird and, and objectionable, but it was fiction. I, I like you, you know. Don't do you stand by those opinions anymore? So know, that's, to be to be fair though, we did skip over. Like Matt Tybee did do some actual good work. Yes, uh, like for right. several same, years. Same with Glenn Greenwald, exact same yeah. situation. Yeah, and then kind of made this this did, did this wacko great. turn. He got yeah. me too, and turned uh, and 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 became a you know how it usually you know, happens. You can't. They, they become contrarian right wingers. You can't say it's a publicity machine when we're acknowledging the man himself is literally calling his employees like make me trend. Make me trend. I want the attention. It's not a publicity machine, bro. He's literally feeding it to us. He does not have, he could take over Twitter. You know how it normally works, right? Normally when normal billionaires do normal regular villains, they make these kinds of moves. If we happen to hear about it, we talk a little, we talk some shit. They don't acknowledge us. They don't give a fuck and they go do what they want with the company and that that's we don't know what the day-to-day -day happenings are elon musk has made an executive decision to make this a personal circus and he said listen hair monkeys y'all are in this circus too y'all are in this circus you're going to be involved and if you stop paying attention i will make sure you show up on my feed you can't present it and, when that and, is what he's acting and now it looks doing. like Tybee's about to defend tucker carlson so uh looking hold, forward hold, to hold, wait, I, I just i just want to point out i just want to point yeah, sorry, out Matt, that Matt, the go. i just want to point out that one of his examples for the the unfair negative uh, uh, press machine is a fucking president of the United States. Yeah. Why don't you go no. after? Why don't you go after that guy? I mean, it's all off the wall here. We're going too far. A negative press machine on the the most powerful man on the planet. We're going too far here. Just go oh ahead. Go ahead. Oh my god. I think yeah. they did it with Trump. Obviously, um, you know they try to do it with Tucker Carlson with you. Uh, you know, I mean, you got to 
taste of that for a few a few times. Yeah, um, it's interesting, right? Uh, and then you know, with with e- with Elon, yeah, they, they, he he went from being the guy who made electric cars sexy to like you know something to the right of Victor Orban in in like <laughs> ten seconds. It's it's amazing. It is amazing, and the narrative is spread through progressive people. Well, they'll just say it now. It's like they've reached the memo, the memos got to them, and then they just – I hear people in L.A., I hear people that I know, like, oh, Elon's just so crazy. It's like it was something happened to him. He went nuts, and he's a right-winger now. I'm like, how? What are you saying? Like, what, what do you mean how? Oh, my God. We, we read. We read, you, you fucking about? idiot. You fucking moron. I fucking hate Joe Rogan. What a piece of shit. I, you know what bothers me so much? I, I used to watch this, this time as a podcast, like, like years ago before – when let's – I gotta be honest, you, Rogan. You look, you, you look, you look like a Rogan. The show was guy. different. The show was, <laughs> <laughs> the show was different. It was a different show. I'm not, like he had he had Jenk Ugaran, he had Anakas, like he had he had actual you know people on with different perspectives. Now it's just a fucking right wing piece of shit. But uh, let's just finish these ten seconds. What examples do you have? Like they don't have an example. They just have this narrative what? that reached them the signal. You like, don't have Elon an example. Dad now. What right? the Dad. fuck? What are you talking about? <laughs> the, un- the union busting like holy sh- the, the, the about yeah like, i pulled up i pulled up a few older articles just oh, to show this God. isn't from this isn't something that just happened oh, after my. he took over twitter oh, 20, my God. 20 2018 tesla workers uh, uh in the guardian september 2018 tesla workers speak out anything pro union is shut down really fast that sounds like a, a left-wing guy from elon musk right <laughs> elon musk the left winger uh 2019 september 2019 vox Elon Musk broke U.S. labor laws. An administrative judge says Tesla tried to sabotage efforts to unionize factory workers in California. Another one of those left wingers who's just been demonized for buying Twitter in uh, 2023. Just this is unbelievable bullshit. I mean, and as we talked about this earlier on the Majority Report, um, this clip, and uh, Matt Leck of the Majority Report had this to point out. I'm going to send you. Uh, the tweet here, um, because let me just let me just pull it up for a second. If anyone wants to, to I think Ole wanted to send something, say something. Go ahead. Well, no, I get no, you no, guys no. this tweet. Mm, do your thing. Just gonna quickly pull this tweet up. This is Matt Taibbi himself in 2018. Before he went on the, or after he went on the Michael Brooks show, or before he went on the Michael Brooks show, uh, pull up this tweet from Matt Taibbi. Uh, uh, those, you know, all those uh, uh, weird people who were, uh, no one was talking shit about Elon Musk before he bought Twitter, right? Scroll down to that, uh, scroll down to that, uh, the date there. Wait. Matt Taibbi, July 2018. In a reply to the Michael Brooks show, because he was going to be on the show. Scroll over, read this caption. About to go on the Michael Brooks show, who is tearing Elon Musk a new one right now. Mm. Oh. 2018. <laughs> he became his PR guy. That sucks. I wonder that if the sucks. leftist hive mind got into his brain and told him to say that about Elon Musk. Somebody went back in time from today to plant this in his brain so yeah. that he would do that back then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I hate. Like, it's just, I, like, I, every week, bro, it's like, these people are disingenuous. That's mm-hmm. the thing. It's so ridiculous to have to be, you're operating in good faith, you have certain beliefs and principles, and you gotta be talking to people who don't believe the shit. They just doing whatever to get a check. They know they're full of shit. That's, that's what it is. It's a politics of gaslighting that's unreal. For you to set up and be unreasonable, like, they just started, even if, first of all, this idea that there's a there might be yes magnified hate for Elon Musk now yeah because he's on every he literally took over it intentionally mm-hmm. so he 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 th- as they would say in the law he thrust himself onto the public <laughs> stage you know what I mean like he literally he literally did that's so yes of course now people who are paying attention because at the end of the day you're not it's not again you're not you're not a, you're not a pop culture figure right like you're you're a billionaire your name is known but we're not paying attention to you you're not an attractive man your average bear is not interested in your tech shit not everybody could afford a tesla why would we be talking about that so you're not going to be as much of a focus but if you take over an app and say hey 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 you have to see everything i say and i'm being a villain and i'm destroying the app and i'm letting the bigots back on and everyone and all of a sudden you didn't call every kind of racial slur um and it, then then yeah people won't fucking like you and you can't just say oh oh they suddenly people can't point to a reason people quote tweet the reasons all fucking day yeah. it's the shit he's saying 
<laughs> the, the shit so he's saying and doing, crazy. he's actively espousing it. It's not like he's pretending he's sitting up with the white supremacists. He's advocating for this. He's he's chopping it up with them. What are you talking about? He out here commenting back at libs and TikTok like, mm. mm-hmm. and how, however could I solve your problems? What do you mean we can't point to it? Like, the, it's the disingenuousness that's meant to drive you fucking mentally ill debating with these people. Like, at the very least, just be a piece of shit and defend your position. But what they do is try to trick you and say it's not that. Like, I would never say if somebody mm-hmm. got up on this show and they were like, they were like, she hates the police. I would never be like, that is a, that is crazy how they would just make up something like that about you. <laughs> that is a you false I mean? I would say that to you. Like, you. Yeah, like, yeah, let me explain to you intellectually why I fuck the police, but I'm not going to stress you and be like, <laughs> now where exactly did you take that from hate? Have you seen into my spirit to know what my problem is with the police? 